Well, hello, Cornerstone uh, family and friends. We're, uh, we're excited about this message that we're gonna get to share with you today because just like you, I'm sure um, you've been sensing and feeling this, this desire, um, this longing to be back together again. Uh, I, I sure have been. I've been wanting to just, man, I wanna see you again and get to know you a bit. And so maybe that question's been on your mind of when are we gonna get back together again as a church? And I wanna encourage you that that day is coming. Um, we've had opportunity as a leadership team to meet the elders and, and go over the plan and try to prepare uh, be in, on our knees in prayer about how we can best do this. We can do it with wisdom and, and uh, being careful and considerate and also having, having a good plan in place. One of our elders, Mark Burnett, is here with us today and he's going to share with us just the elder's heart and a heart for our community and, and a schedule for us uh, to be looking forward to. Mark? So the Elder Board's been working together to come up with a schedule of how we can relaunch and get back to a, a place of normalcy. And so the first step is going to be on May 31st and then also the next Sunday, June 7th and June 14th. And we'll have a, a drive-in church here in the parking lot at Cornerstone. The next step will be June 21st, Father's Day, where we'll be holding an open air service. And we're looking forward to that. Just an opportunity for people to bring uh, camping chairs and still practice social distancing, but uh, get out of their cars and sit out in the sunshine. This is Michigan, and there's a pretty good chance we'll have sunshine. So at any rate, um, we'll get out there and have an open air service here in the parking lot at Cornerstone. June 28th, we'll begin our in-building services. And when I say services, I mean two. We'll have an 8.30 service and then a second service at 10.30. And this will give us the ability to kind of stretch out and to, and to make room for folks and maintain social distancing while still being able to, be to, to gather together. And we'll do those services. We'll do 8.30 and 10.30 uh, on June 28th, July 5th, July 12th, July 19th, and July 26th. And so we'll do the, the, the services only. Then starting August 2nd, everybody will be together in one service, and that'll be at 10.30. And then we'll do that on August 9th, August 16th, August 23rd, and August 30th. And then on uh, starting on September 6th, we'll have the 1030 service, uh, morning worship service. And then we'll also have nursery and Sunday school for all ages, including children's ministries. As we, we get back together, we'll be starting with those drive-in services. Those are going to be a lot of fun just to see each other again. Then uh, on Father's Day, kind of a special day, celebrating dads, getting out in the camp chairs, um, just, just seeing each other, enjoying the fresh air. You can already start praying for good weather for that day for us. Uh, and then, you know, the, the excitement of we're going to be back in the building and worshiping together in the sanctuary again uh, through, through uh, July and two services. Then uh, in August, looking to, to be uh, all, in, all in one service together, starting to look back towards uh, what we knew as normal before. And uh, these are exciting times. We know there's a lot of information in all of that for you to, to gather. And so we'll be continuing to, to let you know how things are progressing. I hope you're excited about uh, the fact that, yes, we're, we're, getting, uh, we're planning towards, we're looking ahead towards um, being together again.